Hey guys, so we're down at uh, Bulldog Gym in Castle Hill. I'm here with Steve and Stu McKinnon. So I'm just gonna catch up with the guys and um, ask them a bit of questions about uh, what they're doing, how the gym's going, and um, what's coming up for the guys. So how are you going, guys? Good. Good, good. Awesome. Another day in paradise. Yeah, <laughs> it is actually such a beautiful day. <laughs> it has been, yes. Um, so can you first of all tell me, um, or each of you just let me know a bit of history about uh, when you first started, um, well, martial arts, any martial arts, um, and then where you are today. <laughs> Go for it. Um, basically, we first started at four years old. Uh, oh, wow. I was four years we in karate, doing Shotokan karate with our dad. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, Steve came a little bit later as I got a bit older. Uh, but yeah, so we did that. You got a bit older or you started beating him up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wanted to try and get me back. <laughs> um, and it still goes on today. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so we started off when I was four, um, and Steve kicked off when he was four too. And we did karate for up until I was about 16. Yep. Um, and they were fought in numerous tournaments, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and then um, this thing called Muay Thai was introduced to Australia. Yep. And the rest is history. So uh, you guys were in New South Wales the whole time? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. So cool. we had a fir had the first few fights under the, my dad was training me. Yep. Um, and then we were just starting to kick too hard for the palm and pad. So yep. that's when we first looked for a gym. Went to a couple of different places around and uh, found Nick Stone. And yep. um, been with him for 20 years. Yeah, wow, that's awesome. Yeah, 20 years, yeah, that's cool. So it's, um, and now he's, he's one of my best mates. And, uh, yep. I've been to his, his wedding, I was best man at his, his redo of his wedding for his 10 year anniversary and his 20 year anniversary. Yeah, cool. Um, you know, and there yeah, you go. awesome. <laughs> so um, how many fights did you end up having in your career? 31. 31, and are you retired now or just yeah. taking a break? No. <laughs> a long I'm, extended break. <laughs> I think I'm done this time. I've, I've, had, a, I've had a couple of, uh, I'm retired and come back, so I've had like a four year gap and a six year gap. Yeah, and, right, yeah. Um, still trains as hard as a fighter. He's my main sparring partner. Yeah, right. And he's still got to try and beat his little brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't let him get one up on me. Yeah, I was going to say, no, no better motivation, <laughs> no, is there? That's right. That's the only thing that keeps me fit right now. Yeah, um, yeah. Just to try and stay fit with him for his fights. Yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, it's just niggling injuries and obviously the, the money's not in it for, for me. Yeah. You know, mortgage and family and everything else. That's it, so yeah. So I've got to work. Running the team. Running yeah, the team, for yeah. sure. Yeah. So um, how many fights are you uh, at now? Uh, 58. 58. Just a few, just <laughs> um, and uh, you've been training Muay Thai the whole time, karate then Muay Thai. Yeah, 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 cool. And have you been here the whole time as well? Were you also with Nick? Uh, yes, I was with Nick as well. Yep. Uh, but I was always, Stu's always been my trainer. Yeah, right. So I've been with him and with Nick Yep. As well, so yep. I've had the best of both. Yeah, cool, that's good. And when did you guys open up Bulldog? Uh, uh, I originally opened up in Blacktown um, 20, 22 years ago. Yeah, right. Um, yep. I was in Blacktown for about four years and then I moved to Castle Hill. So I've been in Castle Hill for 18 years now. Oh, that's awesome. Um, in this location here for 10. Yep. And I was two other locations for four years four years each. Yeah, excellent. But, uh, yeah, here for 10 years now. Yeah, cool. And what do you think, um, being both that you've, well, I guess for yourself too, that <laughs> when you fought back then to fighting these days, what, what would you say is the main, main difference in what you can see how, how Muay Thai has progressed? Oh, over those the, quali years. the quality of fighters now. Back in the day, like we um, we used to travel to Thailand and we train over there, come back, and and we we're just really dominating. Yeah, and right. Where now everyone's traveling to Thailand, everyone's right up with the with the quality. Yeah. So, um, it's just growing and yep. people are improving out of sight. Yeah, right. And what do you guys think about the whole, um, you know, with the combat sports ball coming in and the way that things are changing that way or have changed that way? What's your what your guys' thoughts on that? Yeah, the, man, they they come in and. They think they're doing the best for the sport, which they're not. They're ruining it. I mean, they're even involved in our know, sparring days and stuff now. You know, yeah, which, yeah. Uh, which, it's a joke. Um, you can't, kids can't do it and stuff. It's, I can see where they're coming from, but on the other hand, they're ruining it. They're really ruining it, making it hard. And um, yeah, it's, mm. I mean, it should be. They should probably have a, a, an authority, but have people that know what they're talking about. That's it. Yeah. You know yeah. Mean? They've got eighty-year-old old boxing guys mm. trying, to, uh, trying to govern uh, MMA and, and Muay Thai and sort of have no idea what kicking is about yep. you know, and, and that sort of stuff and getting you wear headgear when you're trying to do clinching and you know, it's, yeah. it's ridiculous yep. and numerous times that we've been to um, amateur days and they're clinching and pulling the headgears coming down over their face yep. and getting hurt you know and it's, uh, it's dangerous though yeah. like yeah. when that sort of thing happens it's ridiculous. more of a hinder than a help yeah sure. yeah yeah right I, um, I just actually spoke to Paul Grimer earlier today so yeah i've got a got a, got a video coming up um you know with that so 
I bet you would have got the full rundown from him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yep. So, um, yeah, it was an interesting conversation, you know, to see sort of, you know, how long he's been sort of oh, <laughs> lobbying, uh, all that sort of a stuff. Aussie battler, whoever that comes yeah. to that, he's been, uh, he's been going to be hard for forever. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's fair to say he's not well liked by the comments. Yeah, he was saying that. He said he was pretty much a thorn in their side. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, cool. So, um, what have you got coming up? Um, I'm fighting on power play. That's in six weeks' time on yep. the 14th of October. Yeah, cool. And uh, fighting Joe Bubier. Yep. Um, so yeah, I'm just I'm leaving for Thailand on Monday. Yeah, right. So I'll go there and do two weeks there. Yep. I, I'm fit now, but it's just my little thing. I go there. Just uh, like I train well here. Yep. The main thing I go there is just so I don't have to focus on work. Family, Fair enough. Yeah. Kids, You're surrounded like, by it. Just, yeah. Sleep. Yeah. Just cool. get that two weeks in, then I'll be back for three. Yep. And then uh, just to fine tune everything, yep. and then I'm ready to go. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. So um, can people get tickets through here or? Uh, go on Power Play. Oh, yep. Uh, Power Play website. Yep. Just it yeah. Google it. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And that's down in Melbourne, isn't in it? Melbourne, yeah. yeah. Is it uh, is it Muay Thai Rolls or K1? It's K1. Rules. Yep. Yeah, Melbourne Pavilion. Yep, that's yeah. it. Yeah, awesome. Um, so what do you guys, uh, with your gym here, what kind of culture do you guys feel you've got in the gym? Uh, it's definitely um, it changed over the years. Yeah. Um, back in the day, we were just a full hardcore fight gym. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that was it. It was just fight, 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 fight. And it used to be quite intimidating from what I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> Walking in and just go yeah, back out slowly. That's right, yeah. Um, but I mean... It's not good for business. It's yeah, not, yeah, you know, yeah. Fight, fighters don't pay the bills. Yep, exactly, you know, yeah. So we've, um, we've you know, had to evolve and, and change as well. Yep. Otherwise you drop off. Yeah. You know, so the you've way got the, to... the fitness industry has taken off, um, so you've got to cater for women, you've got to cater for people <laughs> who want to be fit. Yeah, and don't want to. To fight, yeah, yeah, and I guess there's also a lot of kids and everything that are yeah. training now too. That's right. Well, kids, the future. That you know, you get your biggest kids, kids class and get them in some sort of grading system, and then they're going to be there forever. Yep. You know yeah. I mean? so, for sure. Um, yeah. It's definitely the way forward. Yeah. Um, kids, oh. women, you know, families, and all sort of stuff. Yep. So, what sort of um, classes do you offer here? Now we're doing um, boxing, Muay Thai, kickboxing, kids, women. Um, yep. Corporate classes. Oh yeah, right. As well, yeah. So yeah, we do cool. a lot of corporate stuff too. Uh, MMA as well. Oh, do you? Yeah, yep. yeah. Saturday mornings we've got an MMA class. If you got, you've obviously got an MMA coach yeah. that does that. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah. yeah cool. Um, yeah, so I mean, we only do it once a week. It's I mean, it's not our thing. And, yep. But there's a few people that are interested in doing it, and it, mm. you know, and we get a lot of MMA guys coming here after spa with us. And, yeah, um, to and like stuff, do their Muay Thai stuff, yeah, stand up right, stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, yeah. You know, people like to do it, so we've got, you've got to cater for everyone. Yeah. Do you find it hard finding sparring partners? I've got your brother, but do you have um, a lot of people that can come in and spar you? Yeah, we have a lot of people come in. Yep. Um, and then if I, if I run out of people, um, I'm good friends with Peter Graham and stuff. Yeah, like, right. You know, I haven't sparred with him for a while, because yep. I've been good here. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, I like sparring with him. And, yeah, cool. Yeah. Oh, that's always, good. Always to, pretty good. Yeah, awesome. Um, and so if anyone wanted to come to this gym, uh, like just a general person, coming in for the first time. Do you guys run any sort of specials or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, anyone that comes in gets a seven day free trial. So oh, you can cool. come in and you can um, choose all the various classes that we've got available and see which one you like best. We've got a few different trainers that teach different classes and got their own the various style, you know. In, uh, oh yeah, right. How many um, trainers have you got here? Uh, it's probably about five or six. Yeah, wow. Um, so sort of three full time and yep. three casual ones. Um, yeah, so we've all got a big variation from Muay Thai background to boxing to MMA, yep. you know, so we, we sort of cover yep. all aspects there. Yeah, cool. And where can people find uh, information on the special um, or your you gym? You go to the Facebook page or uh, www.bulldoggym.com um, and check it out there. Yeah, awesome. Cool. So what I'll do is um, I'll do a little tour around the gym so you guys can uh, check out and see what's going on there. And you, you're doing pads today? Oh, no. Damn it. <laughs> Can I make you? <laughs> um, yeah, so um, anyone that wants to come down, I'll also chuck up the link to their website and to their Facebook page. So anything else you guys want to say? Uh, no, not really. you're all good. Uh, yeah, good Sweet. to see you getting around there and um, getting everyone involved. And, yeah, cool. Um, you know, sort of get some new people and see what's happening. And, uh, you know, check out the old fellas and see that they've <laughs> sort of been around for, you know, 20 odd years. And, uh, you know. That's it. Right. Awesome. Thanks, guys. All right, cool.